Good morning. So it is Friday, October 18th, and I don't know what the weather is outside, but it's nice. It's cool. It feels like autumn. It's so awesome. Um, I am about to unplug for the weekend. I'm so excited. I am not going to have any technology for the next three days. Hallelujah. Until Monday morning, until I'm required uh, to have it for my job. So I was not uh, planning on coming here, but I just wanted to share something uh, with you. I pray that this uh, inspires you or encourages you in some way. But um, I, there were a couple things that have happened this morning. So I um, went to bed kind of early last night. I was pretty tired and um, I woke up. I don't know what time I woke up. I woke up at like 2 a.m. And the Lord actually wakes me up a lot at that time. If the Lord is waking you up at a certain time um, in the middle of the night or on the third, third watch, uh, it's time to intercede. Hallelujah. You may not even understand what you're interceding for. You can ask the Lord or you can just pray in the spirit. But um I was doing that and then at some point I went back to sleep and I had this dream and I didn't know necessarily where I was, but um, my spiritual father walked into uh, this place that I was at and and I, um, I occasionally see my spiritual father in my dreams. I get so excited. I love him and his beautiful wife uh, so much. Um, but he walked in and he represents to me our heavenly father. So my father walks in and he gave me new clothes and they weren't clothes that I was expecting. It's not necessarily even something that I would have picked out myself. They were all white, but they were a certain style that I would not have picked out myself. So new clothes. Um, what else happened in this dream? There were other things that happened I, I couldn't remember. I always ask the Holy Spirit to remind me of what we dreamed about. But um, I was like trying to write these things um, down uh, in the dark when I woke up. So I have scribbles on this paper but um, and also trying to recall what was in the dream. Uh, maybe I will remember more today. But um, I received new clothes. Um, and what else? I kept hearing double coming, double coming. So, um, and what else? The fullness of fulfillment. The fullness of fulfillment. And so um, when I, um, so seeing these new clothes um, and I didn't dress myself, all of a sudden I was just standing in these new clothes. It's like the Lord gave me new clothes for this new season. Again, all in white, hallelujah. That re represents the purity and holiness of the Lord. Um, uh, you know, um, the fullness of fulfillment. Um, this also, um, I wanted to share this with you because I believe this is for many of us who have gone through this last season. It, it was so challenging for many, many who were who were walking with the Lord. There is double restoration coming, and there will be the fullness of fulfillment of those things uh, spoken to you or, or a promise to you by the Lord in your life. That's what he's telling me for many of us. I also, as I was like scribbling this down in the darkness, um, I also saw a vision of eggs, eggs. And um, I had, I believe I posted a picture on a, um, on my spiritual father's platform of a chicken that laid eggs next to my window. And it was like a an abundant amount of eggs, um, something not typical for chickens. They only lay, I think, less than 
10 eggs a week or so, something like that. But there were like 24 eggs that this, um, this chicken or hen laid near my window. So I saw the picture of these eggs and it represented to me just supernatural multiplication and abundance coming into this new season. So I'm speaking that over you, that um, double restoration is coming for you. Um, anything in your life um, that has been uh, taken away or lost will be restored doubly, doubly <laughs> in the name of Jesus. There will be a fullness of fulfillment of those things spoken into your life by the Lord. Um, you have received new clothes in the spirit for this new season. And again, you may not have picked them out for yourself, but the Lord has clothed you and the Lord has picked them out for you. So, so you need to go and pray and talk to him about all of this. And uh, what else? Um, my, my father uh, also told me I was going on a trip. I don't, I don't know what that means. So some of you, you may literally be um, sent on a trip somewhere. Um, this may be in the spirit, this may be in the natural, but, um, I, um, I actually prayed over my passport this morning, just, um, prophetically, and I gave it to the Lord. You know, I had all these ideas, um, where I was going. There are m many countries that I have interceded for over the last couple of years, but, um, I just gave my passport to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, and what else, what else? Oh, I said, I said in the stream, as I was looking at my father, I would walk through fire with you. I would walk through fire with you. Hallelujah. So as I was saying this, I, I just had this impression that that um, about faithfulness, faithfulness. God, our, our Father, he's faithful and true. Jesus is faithful and true. And I believe also that he is sending um, people into our lives that will not leave us either. They will walk through fire with you. I've been really praying for like an inner circle group of people um, of the Lord to bring these divine appointments of people that I can truly like stand with in war with and believe with and, um, you know, grow with spiritually. And um, I will say there's a lot of people and very well-meaning people. They'll say, okay, we're gonna, we want to do this with you. And then when the time comes, they're like, well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty busy. I'm pretty busy right now. I have other things to do, but no, I believe the Lord is sending us people that have, um, I am, I'm seeing the word integrity, like they're going to really truly do what they say they're going to do. And they are going to walk through fire with you. Hallelujah. Let's get excited about that. Um, but this also led me to, um, Isaiah this morning, Isaiah. Okay. Hold on. Um, Let me see. Let me see. Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah 43. It says, I'm going to read this. I love the book of Isaiah. Okay. But now thus says the Lord. This is in chapter 43. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chapter 43, we're starting at verse 1. But now thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. 
I feel the fire of the Holy Spirit on the back of my neck. Woo! And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Since you were precious in my sight, you have been honored and I have loved you. Therefore, I will give men for you and people for your life. Fear not, for I am with you. I also heard this morning at some point, um, be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. So fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the West. This really excites me that all of these beautiful, uh, I think of all these beautiful uh, Jewish people coming home, uh, maybe to the land of Israel, um, but it could also be a heart posture, hallelujah, wherever they live, coming home to their Messiah, Yeshua, beautiful King Jesus. I will say to the north, give them up and to the south, do not keep them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, who I have created for my glory. I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. Do you know that each of you under the sound of my voice, you have been created for his glory. Every single person, every single soul. Bring out the blind people who have eyes and the deaf who have ears. Let all the nations be gathered together and let the people be assembled. Who among them can declare this and show us former things? Let them bring out their witnesses that they may be justified or let them hear and say it is truth. You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe Believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord. And besides me, there is no Savior. Jesus, Yeshua, is our Savior, our Deliverer. Hallelujah. I have declared and saved. I have proclaimed, and there was no foreign God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses, says the Lord, that I am God. Indeed, before the day was I am he, and there is no one who can deliver out of my hand. I work and who will reverse it. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, for your sake, I will send to Babylon and bring them all down as fugitives. The Chaldeans who rejoice in their ships. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the Creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty waters, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power. They shall lie down together. They shall not rise. Mm. I'm just, I'm thinking about the fact heathen armies they lie down and they melt in the presence of the Lord. They are extinguished. They are quenched like a wick. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing now. It shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. Hallelujah. So the Lord is doing a new thing for you all in this new season. We must sit and spend time with him. Um, again, I'm so excited um, for the next three days, totally unplugging and sitting with him. And this morning, uh, I have I have been trying to uh, get some laundry done and some last minute cleaning 
and things like that. And the Lord's like, oh no, you let's rein it in. Let's rein, rein it in because you're coming and spending time with me. I'm so excited. And I just want to speak to you about something. Uh, what else was he showing me this morning? Um, I am in a job where um, I take the hours that they give me. There's not like a set amount of hours. And I have to take the work when it's there. And sometimes it has felt very chaotic. And um, this, um, I gave this to the Lord this morning because it's really taken up a lot of um, time away from the Lord. And I truly, the Lord is asking me to step into a place of trust where he is going to continue to provide for me no matter what it looks like, no matter what the circumstances look, looks like. So I just want to say to you, First of all, God is not a God of chaos or confusion. That's not our heavenly father. That is the spirit of the world. So we must surrender this to him and we must come against it and renounce it. Okay. But um, this verse in Isaiah 43, 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. This, um, this word waters out of strongs, it comes from the word M-A-Y-I-M. It means water, waters, floods, seas. It's the Hebrew word for water. Um, it's, it's always in the plural, waters. Um, it occurs as a metaphor for the raging heathen, the cha chaotic, stormy seas at creation in vast nations. Um, so this represents to me that that the Lord um the Lord has his hand on this chaos the Lord um is going to touch the chaos in your life and these stormy seas coming against it and Jesus is just going to say peace be still hallelujah um this word it says this word also speaks of life, sustenance, fertility, blessing, and refreshing. So I believe that the Lord, again, he said uh, double coming. There is double coming into your life. He is going to bring, um, Jesus comes to bring us life and life in abundance, but he is going to bring sustenance and um, blessings and refreshing and fertility. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to all of you, your spiritual wombs and your wombs in the natural. I'm speaking fertility and life into your wombs. Hallelujah. May you be blessed mightily in the name of Jesus. Um, what else? So the Lord is breaking this um, cycle of chaos in your life that you may have come against. And, uh, oh, I feel the peace of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, he's asking us to come into a deeper trust with him. As I was also sitting with the Lord earlier this morning, um, I was reflecting on this last season and I couldn't quite pinpoint it. Like, what is this Lord? What is this that I'm discerning? There's something in my spirit that's not, that's not, um, settled within me. And I just heard residue, residue, like a demonic residue, a residue not of the Lord. And I, and I just imagined myself, I talked to the Lord and said, Lord, just wash me clean. Just wash me with your blood, Jesus, of this residue of the past season. Because man, it was challenging for many. Wash me of the residue of this past season by your blood, Jesus. Restore me to righteousness. Hallelujah. Um, and I just imagine him washing me by his blood. So I speak that over you. Just, just be washed in the blood of Jesus of the residue of this last season. Uh, I know this is kind of like a menagerie of different things this morning. Um, but there was something else. So recently, as you know, I am in a new home. I'm so excited. 
And uh, I really wasn't expecting for the Lord to bring me here. I had my bag packed, ready to be sent wherever he sent me. The Lord did not open that door, but um, he brought me to the peace of the Lord here in this neighborhood, here in this home. Um, even if it's for a season, even it's, if it's for, I don't know. I don't know how long we will be here. All I know is if the Lord ever says go, I will go. Um, but so I have a new address and, um, my ex-husband, uh, picked up my son here, um, this morning and, uh, my son doesn't have school today and, uh, my ex-husband hasn't been here yet. I've been doing all of the travel, all of the transporting and my ex-husband, even though I dropped a pen, even though I gave him my address and dropped a pen uh, to his, through like a text message, he still couldn't find it. He couldn't find it. So I, I heard him on the phone downstairs with my son saying, you know, um, just trying to get himself here. And ultimately he got here, but um, also, uh, so speaking of that, and I'm not saying this against my husband. I love my ex-husband um, and um, we pray for him. Hallelujah. But it, it showed me that um, not everybody has your address and you're not to not to give out your address to everybody. OK, so don't the Lord was telling me, don't give out your address to everybody um, and, um, the Lord is also wanting me to share, you are hidden in the spirit. When you are covered in the blood of Jesus, you are hidden in the spirit. And we can ask, ask him, hide us in the spirit, Lord, from the hand of the enemy. Like, um, you've heard me say this before. We bind blind, deaf, and in silence, all monitoring spirits, you know, cover us in the spirit, Lord. So I just want to speak that over you today, too, as you're sitting with the Lord. Talk to him about that, okay? And you you tell the enemy, hey, lose my address. You have no legal rights here. You are not welcome here. As for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm so stoked about today. I'm also going to walk around and anoint um, the house. I, I haven't done that, even though I verbally have done that, but I'm going to do that. Um what else? Also, the Lord also prompted me to do one more thing today. Again, before we totally unplug from, from everyone this weekend, he prompted me to go get a new phone number. Now, I've had this phone number since I moved here to Idaho. Um, we moved here from Connecticut in, I think it was 2015. So it's been, oh, remember, you don't want me doing your math. Okay, so um, nine years. So I've had, <laughs> I've had the same phone number for the last nine years and I went this morning and, um, I got a new phone number and honestly it took like less than 10 minutes, which sounds reasonable. It sounds lovely, right? But it seems for me, it seems that everything has been so cumbersome, so, 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 um, it's been taking so much time just to do one task. And so when this guy helped me change my phone number and it went so quickly, I was like, oh, that's it. Wow. That was so easy. That was so fast. And so I want to share that with you too. Okay. Some of you need to go change your phone number and not give it out. Okay. Again, just like your location, just like your pin location in the spirit, not everybody is meant to have that. And when I changed my phone number this morning, I can't even tell you what a peace came over me, the peace of the Lord. And so now, um, I guess I do have to spend some time today, <laughs> um, giving a few people my phone number, but it's like the Lord is asking us to be discerning about who we allow in our uh, personal circle, who we allow to uh, take up our time and who we allow to um, contact us. Um, so there are many. I'm already thinking about my contact list in my phone. I'm like, wow, 
there's many people from prior seasons that are still in there that, um, you know, they may be good people, but I am not meant to walk with. Um, there are people, um, anyway, we'll just leave it at that. Um, so don't, so some of you may, some of you maybe should go change your phone number and not give your phone number out. Um, you be discerning, ask the Lord, who should I share this information with? Okay. Um, again, walking into this new season. So I know that was a lot, but I'm so excited. I just, uh, I want to, um, share this with you. I pray this is, this encourages you and blesses you in some way. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just lift up all of your sons and daughters, Lord. I ask that you touch them mightily, Lord. I ask that you bring the fullness of who you are and the fulfillment um, of your word and your will into their lives, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus, your precious blood, Lord, over every soul under the sound of our voice, Lord. I ask that you wash them of the residue and pain of the past, Lord. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you touch each person and even bring us into repentance, Father. Re bring us into repentance. Show us if there is anybody that we need to forgive, Lord, um, that we, we may need to cut soul ties with, Lord, so that we can, we can move uh, further into our destiny and purpose with you, Lord. I just ask that you bless each person mightily, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. So have an amazing weekend. And uh, I love you all. All right, hallelujah. Amen.